G'day guys! Welcome back! Hi! <laughs> Just putting my gloves on. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie. And look, I'm going to do a coaster pour for you. A resin pour with my gorgeous geode shaped coaster set there. I uh, got that from Shattered Shapes from Etsy. And I've mixed up my resin. I'm using Art Coat. It's by Stone Coat Countertops. It's the heat resistant one. And um, I have got some new pastes and pigment powders and inks from the lovely Susanna at Lorez Expressions. So this is the paste that I'm going to use. And I've also got this turquoise blue pigment powder. And then she sent me um, samples of a green and a blue. And I'm going to mix them together to do a teal. So recently I did this set. It was like a blue and green together. And then more recently I did just green, shades of green. Today is turquoise day. So that's what I've got here. So I've got, this one is... Tight blue. So anyway, let's get started with our resin and I can talk to you as I go. So I've got my little cups here. They hold 120 mils, which is um, four ounces. And I'm just going to half fill each one to begin with, make sure I've got enough. So that's for the pigment paste. But this one is for the alcohol ink. This one is for the mica powder. Oh, and I should have put that in first. Let's just swap you over. Let's put the mica powder in first. And I'm going to do a spoonful, like so. And then I'll pour that in on top so it doesn't all fly away. Um, this one, this one's by Artie Sue. It's just called Sparkle. I haven't used it before. So I was tossing up between using white sparkle or just sparkle. I'm just going to open it over here so it doesn't fly over everything. So I'm not quite sure what it, what it is, but it's a, it's a sparkle. And I thought I put that in the bin, but it stuck to me. <laughs> Back I go. All right, it's off. Um, so I'm going to put a scoop of that into this cup. It's flying away everywhere. I'm not sure. We shall see what that one does. Whether it's just a sparkle or whether it's got some white in it. I, I don't think it's got white because there's a sparkle and there's a sparkle white. Uh, so that's that one. Let's pour the resin on top of that one. I made up um, 300 grams of resin. Now this is just my crushed mirror or glass. So I'm going to pour some in there. One, two, three, four, like four little pours. I don't need too much of it. Just got that from eBay. I've got some other colours coming. Now I don't want very much resin in there because I just want it to be a bit of a paste really. I don't want it to like fly around anywhere. Um, okay, well that went pretty fast. Everything's gone. I haven't put the pigment paste in that one yet. I haven't put the alcohol ink in that yet. Let's just mix up these bits of glass. Once I've done mixing, I'll zoom you in more so that you're more over the, the coaster mould. So that's it there. Love that. And then that's just my clear. Mm, I'll put my lids back on these while I'm thinking about it. Oh, the other thing. Getting back to the Lorez. I will put the link down below. Um, and also, if you use the coupon code CHARM, C-H-A-R-M, CHARM, you'll get... 
drum roll 20 percent off lores hey how exciting is that i know so we can thank susanna for that so yeah um i am yet to find out i'm assuming she delivers ships worldwide don't you susanna um i buy from her she's down in sydney it's going to take a, a scoop and see how that goes first yeah she's in new south wales somewhere but um i know other people like i know petra uses um lores a lot so I'm assuming, oh, look at that colour. It's like an ocean. I'm assuming that um, she can buy it. Let me know, Susanna, um, if you shipped worldwide. I'm, I'm pretty sure she does. Um, I'll put a little bit more in. I want it to be quite opaque. So one and a half little sticks full. Put that over there. So I've got lots of different brands um you know that i'm trying out but i'm going to try to use like one brand per coaster set and today is lores put that there now these are the alcohol inks it's a blue one and a green one so hopefully you know i'll give them a good mix uh, maybe like a drop of each or two drops of each and that can give me my teal that i'm wanting I'm gonna put a little bit more clear in there and then I'm gonna put the rest in here for the alcohol inks I think just empty that so it's all gone that's just the clear I like having some clear in the center and I've decided I don't like a lot of glitter in the middle because when you turn it over, you get that big blob of glitter. So, all right, let's put, let's put two, one, two. We'll start with two drops of green and two drops of blue. One, two. It just kind of sits on top and then we'll give that a stir oh look at that looks more of a green in there I might add another blue sometimes one color can sort of take over from another color so let's try another drop of blue so I'm going for a teal. Okay. I know it looks very dark in there, but it's quite transparent. They're obviously very highly pigmented inks. You probably don't need very much. All right, let's leave it like that. And we'll mix up the, this is the mica powder that's been sitting in there. Oh, look at that. Wow, what a gorgeous color. I love teal, turquoise, aqua. It's my thing. Love them. Make sure you stir it really, really well so you haven't got any bits of floating powder. And I learned the hard way to put the mica powder in first. And you put the resin on top of that, otherwise it goes flying up everywhere. That's gorgeous. So this is more of a blue, I guess. It's an ocean blue. This one looks as if it's more of a green. I'll put another blue in there. I really wanted it more of on the blue side. I'll know for next time. Use the green sparingly. It's obviously quite strong. Okay, still looks a bit green. We'll go with it. Now this is the one that was just called Sparkle. It's just amazing how the colours just appear, hey? You stir and then they just appear. It's just gorgeous. Love seeing what colour you're going to get. Okay, 
Okay, so that's that one, and then that's my crushed rock glass, and then that's just my clear. All right, now let me zoom you in a bit, and we will get this show on the road. There we go, how's that? Cooking with gas. Right, so I'm gonna start with the dark edge. And someone gave me a great idea. They said, put your wristbands on underneath so that when you do this and get your gloves off, you're touching the cloth and not your skin. Oh, I'm a silly duffer. I was doing it the wrong way around. I'm a dummy. Anyway, let's go. Let's pinch that. And we'll get started, hey? A little bit around the edge. Let's put a little bit for now, make sure I've got enough to go around. I've got a piece of paper towel here that I can wipe my fingers on. I've also got some baby wipes handy in case I spill any resin because you can get it off straight away with the baby wipes. I would like some black mica powder. I like putting black around the edges and I had a look in my little Lores collection and I didn't have any black. I bought some pastes and then um, the lovely Susanna sent me some free samples, which was lovely of her. Uh, but I do need some black. Susanna, if you'd like to send me some black, and some white <laughs> mica powders. That would be amazing. I've just been spending so much money on resin. and it's t It costs a lot to get started, doesn't it, to get set up. But then once you've got everything, you know, you're right to go. You can make lots and lots of creations. It's just that initial setup that costs a lot of money. You need to get your resin and you need to get all your micas and your pigments and and um, you know your glitters and your sticks and all kinds of goodies. All right, that one's empty. I've got my baby wipe there. I'll just wipe that. It just comes off really well. So make sure you've got some baby wipes handy. I'll put it there and I'll use it again. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is my alcohol ink. Looks a bit green. So I'm going to put that in the middle. I was hoping it would be more teal, but it's more green. This art coat's much thicker than what I'm used to using. I'm used to using the Barnes Clarity, which isn't so thick. I might see if I can get two layers of the alcohol ink. Let's go with this gorgeous... Um, what was it called? Turquoise blue. Look at it. Oh, yummy. All right, pour that into the middle. And that should push the other, the alcohol ink to the side. And fill in those little gaps. Oh, and I need to torch. I always forget to torch. I seriously do. All right, I'm going to torch before I go any further. <clears throat> Just with my little creme brulee kitchen torch. Lots of bubbles to be popped. I'm trying not to get it onto the actual mould. It's torching in the middle of the mould. those embossing tools like a heat a little heat gun I don't know I just find they don't pop bubbles as well do they um, all right I'm gonna go with some clear next just to push everything out and give us a little bit of a nice effect let's make sure I don't overfill everything because I've still got a couple more colors to put in 
I've always got a piece of this um, baking paper down so that I can put my cups on because when it drips, it just drips onto there and then you can just throw it out. Hey, all right. I don't even know if I want to use this sparkle now. Uh, I will. Um, let's put some sparkle in the middle and see what happens. I have no idea what it's going to do. Hopefully it just, oh, I'm hoping it doesn't take over. Um, maybe I only do two and I can see the difference that it makes because I've never used that before. I just don't want it to end up with, um, you know, the big blob of gold on the bottom. So I might just leave it like that because then I can say, well, I prefer these or I prefer those because I'm not sure what it's going to do. Um... Oh, these are looking amazing. I'm kind of upset that I put the silver in there now. Let's go with another layer of the alcohol ink. And hopefully there's enough room. Okay, there's a little bit of alcohol ink left. Pretty, quite a long work time with this art coat. I'm not exactly sure how long. I'll have to research it. Okay, let's finish off this turquoise mica powder. There's always a little bit left when you're doing these coasters. Like I made up 300 grams for four coasters, but there's always a little bit left over. I don't think I'm going to use any more of that sparkle white. I want to see what it does first. Okay, so now, um, now, now, now. Oh, I'm going to put clear in the middle and then I'm going to put my crushed mirror in. And then I think that'll be about it. There's a tiny, tiny bit left in there. I probably see I wasted a lot of it with that sparkle. All right, let's just put a little bit of this in. Because it's clear, because it's like a mirror or glass, it doesn't tend to have a big blob. Oh, dropped it. It doesn't have a big um, blob on the back. You can like see through it. Did I get it? No, oh, I missed it. Oh. No, oh, I can't pick it up. It's going to ruin it. Okay. You be careful not to drop things where they don't belong. See how you can like see through that? That's what I like about the, the glass as opposed to the glitter, which just makes a big puddle on the other side. Whereas with the glass, you can still see through it. So it looks really pretty and clear looking. Put a little bit more on you and see if you can join up with your friend that went MIA over on the side. Oh, those are looking amazing. It'll be interesting to see what this sparkle does on these two as opposed to these. Wow, that's really pretty. Um, I just got to be careful I don't fill them too much. I'm just going to poke... I made a little bit too much of the glass up. I'm just going to poke them down because I don't want anything sticking up. And they're almost doming. The coasters are almost doming, so they're getting like a, a mound, which is what you want. You don't want them to be lower than your um, coaster mould. 
otherwise um, when you take them out because the resin shrinks you get a little lip now I'm going to torch again and then I'm going to put a little bit more clear on but there's something in there oh my gosh these are oh these might be my new favorites let's torch again So those that use that um, embossing heat gun, this one, I've got it under here, I've got it plugged in. Do they pop bubbles or do they just, see, to me that's just blowing, and I don't, oh, see, I don't want to blow them around. I don't want, I don't want to lose my design, so I tend not to blow them around, but do they actually pop bubbles is my question to you. Because I know this little gun does, but I'm just worried about my mould. Okay, that's that. Now I've got a tiny little bit of the clear left. It's starting to thicken. It's a pretty cold day today. Now I'm going to see if I can pour a little bit more in on each of them. And... Hopefully it won't. Oh, look how it's closing in. No. A little bit on each. Hopefully I've got enough to go around. It's not going to be much left. I think it'll just keep closing in. It's the, the resin seems to come from the outside in. Doesn't matter what you do, they always want to come back into the middle. I just want to use up all this clear. And fill these up as much as I can so that they're mounding, but I don't want them to overflow. I'll take you down for a close up and hopefully you can see the actual mounding that I'm talking about. How they mound rather than just sit flat or lower. Okay, so that one's empty. All my cups together. Where's my little wipe? Okay. Oh well, look the um the white sparkles vanished. <laughs> I just went like that on my face to get the hair out of my. Face and now I've got resin on my face, so I have to wipe it off real quick. Okay, the things you have to think of, hey? All right, let me move these out of the way. Um, one more little torch. I think I'll torch a few times, like I'll wait five minutes, I'll come back and I'll torch, and then I'll wait another five minutes, I'll come back and I'll, I'll torch again. Um, because the bubbles do keep coming up. I'm just going to wipe my hands with a clean wipe and then I can get my gloves off and um, hang on to my, get my camera back down here to show you, hey? Show you the close-up. Oh, yummo, these might be my favourites. Um, I'm just going to turn off my ring light. can still see really well without the ring light being there. All right, let's get down low. Okay, so can you kind of see that it's just making a mound? So it looks as if we're losing our little clear centers. Oh, look at that. It's focusing. You guys, it's focusing. I must remember, use the little thing in the middle. On the screen, it's got like a little, I don't know, one circle with one flower. And then it's got a circle with two flowers. And then a circle with three flowers. And I was on the three flower one. And I've just gone back to the two flower one. It's obviously magnification. But look at that. It kind of looks like a galaxy. Or I'll be really excited to see what they look like on the other side. Hopefully we will still have a little bit of clear, then it won't all disappear. 
Now I've got, what have I got left? I've got some stone and some sparkle. Um, if, if they haven't gone hard already, I'm going to put them in my leftover pyramid. So I'll do that. All right, um, I'm going to pop some more bubbles and we shall see you tomorrow morning, hey? See how these babies turn out. I'm excited. All right, see you tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. It's my favorite time of the day. The unmolding, or is it the demolding? Looking good. They look much darker lying down there flat than they can, than they do up here. But look at the detail. We've got some beautiful, beautiful effects. So, without any further ado, let's pop these babies out. Now, it hasn't been 24 hours yet, so they're still going to be a little bit bendy. And make sure that if you're going to touch the surface, you don't touch with your naked hand, so to speak. I don't mind holding the side there because I'm going to paint it anyway. Oh, look, I've got my clear centre that I wanted. Now, through the screen here that I'm looking through, it looks much bluer. I don't know, like greens always look blue through a screen, don't they? <clears throat> I have got my big ring light above there um, to give me some better light in my studio. But it does sort of flick on and off. See, there it is there. <laughs> All right. So, oh, that's so good. I love it. Wish you could pick up the true colour. All right, let's flip it over. Ooh, oh, look at that. This must have this must have been the one with the sparkle. It wasn't sparkle white, it was just sparkle, wasn't it? Ooh. I'm assuming it is because it's quite sparkly especially around see around the outside there I'm assuming that's the sparkle so it'll be interesting to see what the others look like oh I really like that and I like my clear center there would have liked a little bit clearer all my coasters seem to come out quite dark <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying for a light one I'm gonna keep trying because I want a light one um, I'm just gonna pop that there for now just got my little fluffy rug oh that lights annoying let me see if I can move that out of the way take it up a bit there we go mm, not really okay that'll do <clears throat> I don't want to the glare do we okay let's go for the next one and they pop out just so easily from these gorgeous molds actually maybe i'll put that over there and then we don't see pink in the background too much hey now i wonder if this had the sparkle in or not there was two next to each other that had the sparkle i can see a little bit there of the green Actually, I'm not sure what that is. It's probably the, um, the alcohol ink. But the pigment, the dark pigment has like made these really pretty effects. It's sort of pulled in from the, the sides. Now that one's different. So I'm guessing that one hasn't got the sparkle. It's still really, really beautiful. Look at those effects we're getting. That is just amazing. Good on you, Lorez. I haven't seen those sorts of effects before. Only when I use the, um, you know, the cast and craft white, and it makes those kind of effects. But I haven't used any of the white in here. I love that centre. Oh, I'm so happy with these. I'm going to paint the edges um, in silver. Let's pop that one down. Grab another one. Oh, you want to come out already? Okay, here we go. He wants to come out. They're all very similar, as you can see. I'm looking four minutes already. I'm trying not to take too long with the unmolding, but look at the sparkles in here. I wonder if this one's got the sparkle too. Nope, don't think so. It's just the mica powders that are sparkling. That is just 
just amazing those effects which side would you use you guys would you use that side or would you go with that side this one's kind of dark and mysterious like an underwater cavern and this one seems to be a little bit lighter and it's got those amazing effects so I don't know which I'd prefer I don't know oops do you want to come out yep you want to come out too come out and play there we go still bendy um, there's the sides now as you can see look over the top there's no there's no lip for me to sand because I ha had those um, coaster molds as full as I could so they were kind of um, doming I was gonna say mounding doming is the word so this is the other one that's got the the um, sparkle in it really pretty and it's not like a big blob of silver in the middle like which I really don't like so yeah I, I like this I would use this again the sparkle I mean you can see the little ring around there but it's also sort of pushed into the middle and we've got a beautiful sparkle in the middle so you can see they're a little bit bendy still all right um let's paint one of them in silver and see what they're going to look like I've just got my silver Krylon leafing pen I don't know how much is left in it it kind of doesn't want to come out very well but I've been blotting it uh, let's do this one make sure it's nice and clean okay let's see if it's <clears throat> excuse me see if it's going to work this pen it's not coming out really well I think it's almost empty but what I thought I would do is no, it's not going to cover very well see how streaky it is what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just put that down for a sec what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this nib out and I'm going to pour some silver paint into that Let's see how that goes all right I'm just going to put you on pause and I'm going to do that I'll be right back That's what I'm using. It's Model Master Silver. It's made by testors, testers as far as I know. Um, but we can't get testers here in Australia, so this is the next best thing. I did try to pour some into the the nib. Didn't really pour in very well. It kind of overflowed. I don't know how. Maybe they must put it in before they finish building the pen I don't know anyway I've got some on there I've got a little bit in there um, the other thing is also you can just use it as a paintbrush when it's empty you can just um, actually dip it in your paint little bottle okay well where did I get up to here let's go again we're we focusing focus I might move these out of the way because it's not really going to know what to focus on. Let's see if this is any better. The struggles of videoing, eh? Hey? I don't know if that's clear or not. There it is. Push down. Well, they're still very bendy. Try not to touch the sides or the top actually don't touch the top now I'm just gonna push that to get the color to come down well I won't be able to do it on the other side though because it'll be wet I won't be able to push I think probably the best thing to do is when your silver pen has run out 
um, is just to to dip it. Hang on, I'm going to get the little pot. Okay, so this paint takes a little bit longer to dry than the pen does with its own paint in it. So it does take longer uh, and you won't be able to like lay it down on a piece of um, paper like um, grease proof paper non-stick paper because the color will kind of run down the side and get onto either the front or the back of your coaster so you won't be able to do that you have to put it onto like a baking tray so that the sides don't stick if you do have anything that Oh, look, see, it's gone over. If you do have anything that goes over like that, um, you can wipe it off if you notice it straight away. Um, but otherwise, I'll, I'll clean that up later. You'll have to get some um, acetone nail polish remover. Let's just finish this. So now I'm going to just turn it on the side and I'm going to go half on and half off with the pen half on the edge and half off the edge and that gives me a really nice little edge to follow and um, it, it goes pretty quick oops I hope I'm not touching that the back it's much easier when I'm just doing it without videoing it and concentrate on what I'm doing <laughs> because I'm looking through the screen making sure it's focused that I'm trying to do this and it's a bit tricky but you guys have watched me do this before whoops I put a bit too much on there too much on the end of the nib you gotta try and wipe it off whoops focus again a little hair on the end of that and it's starting to bend because I'm holding it in the middle it's kind of bending off to the side probably should wait another day like I don't mind unmolding them after 24 hours but it probably need to wait another 24 hours to paint them just because they were a bit bendy I'll try to get as clean a, as an edge as I can. You could always go over it again, you know, after, I don't know, however long it takes to dry. I don't know how long it takes to dry. Nearly there. Once it's dried, like I'm not going to even attempt to do the other side now, the other edge because I'll probably get this edge smudged. Um, so once it's dry, I'll come back and I'll paint the other side, just the edge. That way you can use either side of the coaster. And there's a hair. Oops, you see that? Let me get that off. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's me done on that side anyway. Um, I've got a little bit there I need to just clean up, but I'll go and get a cotton bud, like an earbud, and dip it in some acetone, and uh, I'll clean that off. Right, so that's that. I'll do them all, and um, I'll take a little video of them out in the sunshine, as I always do, so that you can see them. All right, see you soon.